Beautiful rest of our Sunday evening expected. We'll see some clouds start to thicken up tonight, and we're going to see a brief little change up on Monday. We're going to hit the reset button. This front to the north is going to sag down and then approach from the north and the east untraditionally, so we'll call that a backdoor cold front. It's going to nudge high pressure off towards the west, enhance an ocean breeze, throw a few more clouds into the picture, and then hopefully, because I, I would like to remain optimistic, spark a few showers. It's not the rain chances we need, but we'll take what we can get. So tonight, the clouds just slowly fill in. Temperature is actually going to feel pretty warm overnight, near 70 degrees. Low 70s for some spots, upper 60s for others. Tomorrow, with the ocean breeze, it's actually going to feel pretty refreshing. Our high temperature only going for 75, with a few isolated showers around. Now, the ocean breeze is going to bring us a temperature spread as well. Low 70s on the, the coastline in northeast North Carolina, 70s for Elizabeth City, and then near 80 for those away from the ocean breeze. Similar case on the south side, mid 70s for most of us, but then we're pushing 80 degrees out towards Franklin and Wakefield. And then we should be in the 70s for most of us on the peninsula northward. That's also our better shot at some rain. So future track brings the clouds into Monday morning. And then here with the front sagging in, the ocean breeze, we have a few showers around. Best shot going to be out towards I-95. And then that same front is going to lift back to the north. We'll open Tuesday with a few areas of drizzle and fog before sunshine brings us into the afternoon and takes us back into the low 80s and a brief little warm-up into Wednesday and Thursday. Rain chances return towards the end of the week.